Frankenstein? Nope. Anyone ever asked that question? That's a weird question to ask. Never met the man. Me either. I like to stick his tongue out though. I saw that in pictures. I think he does in this one. Oh, Jesus. I was fucking around. <laughs> there, there we go. Did you realize that this beer is called Einstein's favorite? When I said orange and vanilla, or did you not look at the can? No, I didn't look at the can. So you had no. So what did you think I was going where? I don't fucking what do you think know. I was going with that. Like you just son, <laughs> you go in weird directions. <laughs> also, this I is, just accept it. This is double labeled. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is Einstein's favorite from Equilibrium. Uh, this is a triple IPA with orange and vanilla coming in at ten and a half percent, courtesy of Kyle at No High Beer Reviews. Um, we've done a bunch of mystery beers of his so far. We actually had a handful of these beers um we had some friends over a few weeks ago but we didn't review them we just drank them and they're pretty fucking pretty fucking great um kyle did review this and i don't think i think i missed this review on purpose because i knew that i think he was going to send them um brooding can by equilibrium in middletown new york think new york drink new york is the hashtag this was canned it's very fresh there's, there's no date on it Oh, you just uh, sprayed in the face for the second time today. How do you know you were the first? That's right. <laughs> there you go, sir. Look at that. Right at the eight. Right at the eight. Perfect. This is a dark beer. Bam! I didn't roll well enough. <laughs> Typical. Typical. Um, mine looks like a burnt orange, sunny. Mine's super opaque. Yours is not. Yeah. Yours is sort of like like cloudy. Mine is looks like a fucking like a candle. <laughs> it looks like solid. <laughs> Ding. Look at it. Like there, like yours is sort of that like that like uh, you can sort of see like the lightness around the edges. Yeah. Mine looks like you. You know, remember like when they used to do those Guinness candles? Oh yes. It's sort of like that, but, <laughs> but like a orangey blonde. Yep. It's it's pretty, but clearly different fucking beers. Yeah. <laughs> and your head's sticking around. Damn right it is. Wow. Don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Um, Think about good, it, buddy. Pretty good head retention. Uh, no, I mean pretty good head retention. In yours, mine is. I was. I was going to say pretty good alcoholic is what I meant. Yeah, it's just like dripping off the side of the glass. See what it knows. Sure. It smells like a cream sickle. I'm gonna say hops like it. It smells like really sweet orangey vanilla, like like a cream sickle for real. Yeah. Like sometimes I get like orange and, and uh, vanilla, I'm like cream sickle, because it's reminiscent. This smells like a fucking cream sickle. Yes. Um, maybe like ten years ago, a little longer, fifteen years ago, um, one of the soda companies was doing like um sort of like uh, floats as a as a gimmick. They weren't real floats, but it was basically like a soda with like a lot of vanilla in them. They did like root beer floats and mm -hmm. orange floats. I think maybe like Slice, or one of those brands. And it smells like that. Really? I don't think I ever had that. Yeah, they I used to make orange floats. They're, 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 too, they're too sweet. They're kind of gross. But it has that, that sweet, rich vanilla and that citrus, yeah. like that really orange... Like orange juice. It smells fucking delicious. I mean, this is crazy. It smells like a dessert. Yeah. I'm down with this. So far. Damn we, right. We've been fooled before on a nose. Cheers. Cheers, Dad. You know you're drinking a beer, you know it's high ABV, but the orange and vanilla are definitely pretty much there. And it's like dessert yeah. level. It's yeah. way up in your face. Now, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm glad it's half a can. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do 16 ounces. It's very, it's, it's dessert boy for sure. Um, right up front, you get the vanilla and the orange, but you get this like booziness that kind of lets you know it's still... 
Yeah, it has a level of astringency too that that's outside the citrus. Yep. It's like in somewhere in the hot bill, I think I'm matching. It's more citrusy. Like you, yeah, just like when you said the citrus. It's more citrusy, just in general citrus and vanilla, then I really get orange as much. And then I think it gets I'm getting almost like citrus punch and orange peel. Yeah. And then as it and as it tapers off, you get I think more vanilla kind of comes through right at the end, and then it just kind of dries out a little bit. Have you ever had like upscale um like Chinese orange chicken? With like orange peel inside the recipe and like a lot of chili peppers and stuff? What's considered upscale Chinese? Well, you know, generally, if you get orange chicken, it's like mall quality. Yeah, that's usually what I'm, I'm talking about. Like, if you if you're sitting at like like a restaurant where you're expected to tip, like PF Chang's. <laughs> I don't go to many like. Well, PF Chang's would probably. I have no idea. I don't go to anyway, many Chinese so restaurants. Th- there's that... there's a place I went to a couple years ago, um, and like the orange chicken was like not that cheap. But we we did a whole bunch was of like, like a, almost a la carte type stuff. Was it a traditional Chinese restaurant? No, because orange it? chicken is American. It was invented by uh, by Panda Express. You tell it to, you, are you going to next tell me that chicken fingers, golden fingers, are and are invented by us too? Yes. Anyway, but like when, when I was when I, when I was having it, they had a little piece of orange peel, and uh, it's not generally like super. Um, edible but it's fine because it's cooked down and, yeah and it's and i'm getting sort of that kind of a note of that, of that orange peel like like eating that was a long way to get to that point no but it's a very good point to make though what, what i'm saying is i'm not walking around like eating orange peels <laughs> it's like like oh that'd be <laughs> delicious uh, but I, I got it in this dish and it's good now this is super tasty it's very very good but i i have to say it Eight ounces is perfect. Yeah, I know. I agree. You know, um, and I'm gonna enjoy every ounce of this. Oh yeah. I don't think I need a double of that. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I, for now, now that I'm drinking it, I want to say I did watch Kyle's, and I thought he said something like he didn't get enough orange and vanilla. That's all I'm getting. But I could be very wrong, so don't quote me on it. Now I for, for I'm just gonna go watch the video after this. Um, this is delicious, but it's really good. Yeah, Jesus fuck. I've never had a bad equilibrium beer though. I've never had one be like, this is terrible. Hmm. I can't think of one. No. Like, all the ones we had D- two seconds ago were fantastic. The other ones that, that Kyle sent in the past have been fantastic. Sorry. So, yeah. Um, I would highly recommend this. I believe it's it's got to be a little... It's going to be under a month old, maybe. It's close to a month. Um, but it's held up very nicely. Tenant, it's triple IPA, right? So, um, everything's there. Could you even... Can you pick hops out on this? No. <laughs> Probably Citra. <laughs> mm. Citra would make sense. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little mosaic. Because I'm getting like, like other kind of fruity notes. Mm. It's very, it's very the, bright. The, to the same thing? Either way, it's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, Kyle, thank you for sending this. Um, let us know in the comments if you've had this before and what you think of it. Because um, we absolutely love it. And if you know what hops are in it, yeah, please, please let us know. And if it's like linked on some easy page that we just are too stupid to find, just put it in put it in a comment. Make us look stupid. We're used to it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, no net from their Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. What did I do? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do that in the right order. Not that it matters. Not that there's a specific order for social media, but I have a thing, and now I feel really, really, really off for not saying it properly. Nerdsense.net from there. Instagram. I don't even know how to say it. What's what's the order I put it in? Uh, first Google Plus. Oh, Google Plus. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Don't even worry about the other one. Just go to our Google Plus page. It's probably still there. Uh, and then I'm Sean. I'm embarrassed. And, and this, this is Nerdsense. Nerd